Good morning. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, gee, where's that come from? <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. It's your girl Chrissy, and welcome to another YouTube video. So I have to record my intro in the car because Brett is still sleeping. It's his day off. Normally, me and Brett wake up at the same time, but it's his day off for the very first time in such a long time. So I didn't want to interrupt him and I didn't want to wake him up. So decided to do it in the car. Today, you are going to spend the day with me. You're going to spend the day together. We are going to go to the office right now. So I'm wearing a full tracksuit because it is freezing. And let me just go back and show you. And I have to wear slides and socks because I had a toe operation and my toes won't be recovered for another three to four weeks. And listen, the way my toes are actually hurting me when I walk, it's not even a joke, but I also don't wanna to drive to work because number one, it takes me two hours to drive to the office so I'm driving into London, just wiping. I'm wiping my very cheap sliders I bought from Amazon for 20 pound. These are absolutely amazing by the way. Best purchase ever, Brett got me these. I saw them on a TikTok ad and I was like, oh my God, I really want these. And they are literally like clouds on my feet. I'm so happy I bought them. Please go buy a pair and change your life today. Yeah, I don't like to drive into London because whenever I drive into London, it takes me two hours to get there. And by the time I get to the office, I'm low key a little bit grumpy because I've been in the car for two hours and I just can't, can't, I can't. I'm such an angry driver. Like... I'm not even going to front to you. The way I just hate other drivers, I can't. I look at other drivers and I'm like, you're in my way. I also made a fresh juice in the morning. I used to do this all the time and then I stopped. It never really became a habit. It was almost like became a bit tedious. So I want to try and make it a habit again. I still stuck to my 30 minutes of walking 30 days. I remember when we did the 30 on 30, that was absolutely amazing. But then since my toe up, I can't really walk. So I'm trying to find another habit that I can implement in time for my recovery. So in here, ladies and gents, I have two beetroots, five carrots, five celery sticks, one lemon, and a thumb size worth of ginger. Freshly squeezed, I squeezed this last night, so I'm gonna have this first thing in the morning. And then when I get to the office, I'll make my breakfast smoothie, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. I'll share the recipe on here. So without further ado, we need to get our asses to work because we have meeting after meeting. This is lovely. Like, I love when my calendar looks like this. Oh my God, there's just so much to do. I'm just so stressed. Uh. Right, I just got to the train station and it's raining. And listen, I regret cutting my hair so much, right? Because when it rains or when my hair's a bit flat, I look like that guy from Shrek, the little prince. What's his name? Lord Farquhar. Fuck well. That's who I look like. That is how I look like. When I don't do my hair and it's raining, I look like Lord fuck well. So if you're thinking about cutting your hair, don't do it. I was clearly chatting so much rubbish in my latest video when I was like, you're thinking about cutting your hair, do it, it will grow back. No, it was a mistake. I don't know why I cut my hair. Oh, it's grown a bit though, but it was like down to here. What even possessed me? Right. So I get to St Pancras because that's where I stop off and I see this little flower shop here and I thought it would be so nice and so cute to get my, sorry it's really blurry, hold on, okay. I thought it would be really nice and cute to get the honour team a bunch of flowers each. The tennis golf team is too big so we've got to do like going out trips and we've got to like take them to restaurants and do stuff like that which we do with honour anyway but I thought it'd be so nice to get each member of honour active a small bunch of flowers for their desk and I think it'd make their day like I would want to walk in with flowers on my desk so why not get other people flowers and also stopped off with an espresso if you're ever wondering what coffee pods to get me if you're ever intrigued um, or to get yourself. These are the nicest coffee pods. It's the purple one. Guys, guys, they are amazing. These are the best Nespresso pods. They're very strong. So if you like your coffee strong, then go for this. The intensity is nine. That's shooting up a level. That's anxiety right there. Nine jitters and jittering all day long, but these are the best Nespresso pods. So definitely try these out. Okay, I 
got to the office at Nespresso. They were giving me a free gift, but the free gift wasn't really me. It was like a denim apron. And Terry, who is my new PA, Sarah hasn't gone anywhere. If you're wondering, Sarah is now head of campaigns at Honor Active. But um, Terry, who's now my new PA, like always wears denim. And I just sat back and thought he would appreciate that so much. And uh, he loves it. So I'm gonna make my smoothie of choice for today. So in my smoothie, I'm gonna put a little bit of almond milk, um, just this one here. Then some oats, my fit whey protein with women's best, this is fudge brownie. Some cashew butter that I have here. And then, hold on. <laughs> Oh, sorry about that guys. And also some frozen raspberries in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. And that's literally my go-to smoothie. That's what I have. And I've got the team on this as well. So we have a blender in the office. We're also gonna get a juicer. So we have our Monday morning juices and we go around the table and we all collaborate for an hour on a Monday morning, which is super important. So this is the smoothie of choice. I'm gonna make it now. at home with Brett. So we have Maxi Boy in the office today. Oh my goodness. Are you excitable? Are you excitable to see everyone? So I bring him downstairs, upstairs to the honor team. Come on, Max. <laughs> hey, that's buttons, this giraffe. like enjoy coming to work. Look at all their flowers. salad so it's got olives kale pickle which is so nice it's like pickled onion i think and then croutons i ate all the chicken and then you have some roasted also pepper so i'm eating that quickly this is literally what it's like in the office what i'm meeting in there now with the tone and sculpt um, growth team just quickly an exec meeting they come up to my office which i'll show you in a minute the team is assembling drawers <laughs> and also the sofa together. So that's quite nice. I actually like when they do things together like this because it's team bonding and it's really, really important. So also just to make you aware, I've had to eat as well. I had one of these fit shakes. So Women's Best um, provide all the team with all of their shakes and all the smart bars here. Downstairs is even more because there's like 30 people downstairs at Tone and Scott. I've had a fit shake and I've had a bit of a moldy banana, but do you know what, it was so nice because it was proper sweet, so I love sweet bananas. So that means I've had my juice in the morning, my shake, my... I've had my milkshake, <laughs> my protein shake, and I've also had a banana and now my chicken salad, and that's what I've had to eat so far. So I'm getting a little bit busy, so I'm gonna eat this later, because this is what always happens. If you guys wanna know how I stay in shape, stressed, and overworked. Okay guys, I just wanna show you my office. So I bought these little chairs here. I kept the desk. I got a nice black lamp, which I love. I'm gonna get rid of this TV, I don't need it. And I'm gonna make this like a little memory wall. And then I'm getting a monitor here. I got a little storage thing here. Sasha got me this guys, look. It's a Chrissy Chella Barbie doll. Who knows, one day, huh? 
But uh, I've got all my storage here. Got my bits and bobs there. One day I'll have a gold little YouTube plug. Hitting a million subscribers. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. It goes a long way. So thank you if you do. Um, so yeah, what do we think about this office? So here I'm going to put two massive whiteboards, one for interactive, one for tone and sculpt. But yeah, I love it. It's really calm and it's really peaceful. A little footstool as well to elevate my feet. And yeah, keeping it simple. Let me know if I need anything else. If you feel like I need a little drinks cabinet here, you know, a little bit of cocktails on Friday night. So yeah, let me know. Guys, I just got home. So my camera died. This is why I don't vlog. I need I need constant battery charges in my life and my energy. But my battery died, so we resorted to iPhone. I got on the train to come back home and I bought Brett a little card. I'll insert the little video here because the card is so cute. You're going to love it. And I bought him a card because lately, like between me and you, I'll be honest with you, I have not been that great to be around. And I think that I, I definitely have so much self-awareness where I know I've not been myself and I have not felt myself. And and I've just felt like so so bad because he is literally like an angel from heaven he is the most beautiful 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 man like I cannot express how calm he is and how collective and how just lovely he is and I've just not been myself I've had so much anxiety so much stress so much overthinking to the point where I'm actually struggling to sleep and I'll be honest with you like genuinely between me and you have not been myself. When I get like this, I go into my shell and I become really quiet and I become really like sensitive. So I will burst out and cry at any point. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? I need help. This is not normal. And then I just think, no, like I sometimes forget I'm 27 years old. I'm running two big brands and yes, they're startups, but they're still big in the sense of I have to pay people's wages like i'm 27 years old and i have to pay people's mortgages at the end of the day like that scares the shit out of me i'll be honest with you it gives me so much anxiety at 27 years old i should be getting drunk and i should just be like getting random tattoos which i already have <laughs> i've already had that phase in my life i've been just really quiet and he's been asking me like chrissy is there anything i've done and i'm like no like it's not you at all nothing you've done you are so perfect you are so beautiful i just need time to heal I've also had a lot of delayed grief this time last year. One of the most important people in my life passed away, which is Holly's mum. Holly's mum took me in for a whole year when I had no home. Like I was literally homeless. I cannot stress that enough. I was literally homeless. And she took me in, didn't charge me a penny, gave me warm food, gave me a warm bed and gave me so much love. And I was there with her the day she died and... I felt numb at the time and now after a year I'm feeling a lot of grief and subconsciously it's really affected me and I don't know if you have this please let me know if I'm the only one but if you have delayed grief and you sometimes feel like is there something wrong with me um so I got him a little card just to remind him of how much I truly love him and how much I truly appreciate everything that he does and how like literally he is just such a beautiful human being and i just don't want him to feel like any different but at the same time i don't want to feel bad because i am going through my own pain so i need to self-heal and i need to self-develop so if you are going through any pain or if you're feeling any grief or if you're feeling any stress i promise you we will get out of this together we will push through this together and it might not feel it right now because i don't feel it right now but you just have to remind yourself and i'm here to push you and have your back like i always will so let me get in the house. Oh, by the way, I had two eggs, some shrimp, high protein, really amazing. And also I had a black coffee at work because my energy levels dipped because I was up since 5.30 in the morning training. Psychopath. Anyway, so now I'm going back in. Brett said he's making some salmon and sweet potato and greens for us. So that will be my last meal of the night. And I will show you what that is right now. Ah. Hi, little baby. <laughs> have you missed me oh my goodness gracious me okay 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 come on come on let's go back in you're the happiest girl in the world because you just saw mama i love you so much i missed you do you know what recording without your camera is like shockingly bad but showered up and my skin has been improving so much lately if you guys 
on OG, you will know my skin and me have not got on. I'm gonna insert a picture right here. This used to be your girl literally three years ago. I used to cry myself to sleep. I felt so ugly and I, oh God, I will never forget feeling that way. And my heart goes out to absolutely anyone that has acne blemishes listen i lived with it since i was literally 13 years old it got progressively worse the more i got older i'm now 27 years old so literally i get it and i went on rakuten that really helped but now my skincare routine is so simple so if you want me to do an updated skincare routine and updated makeup routine then let me know in the comments below because i can definitely do that for you but one thing that i love is this like this is like a retinol overnight cream. It's from 1A, um, Allies, of, Allies of Skin, sorry. Everything in my video, um, I'm less told otherwise, I just pay for myself. And it's like a really thick overnight mask and I love this so much. I put it all over my skin, just like so, and I leave it overnight, and in the morning, my skin feels so, 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 so soft, and so replenished, and so, like, hydrated. It's unbelievable. Don't forget your neck. I do my neck, and I also do my hands as well, so I do all my hands, and then I rub this in a bit more. I absolutely love it, and then I put an overnight um, lip cream on as well. This is the one I go for like here i thought i think it's called langai oh god i'm so freaking not a beauty influencer i just need to stick to what i know but i put this on all over and i also had a q a on instagram and you guys had asked if i'd had my lips done and yes i've had them done um by dr selena and i think she did such an amazing job they look so natural, they're not overdone at all, and I'm just so happy with them. I just wanted to touch up a little bit, and I did them a bit, and it was probably the best thing I did because they just look so subtle. I did the bottom one, you can see. What do you think? By the way, I'm not promoting it, in case anyone's like, you're promoting it. I'm not, I just really wanted to do it, and I'm so happy I did it. I feel so happy with them. I still feel like they look natural. I don't feel like they look overdone and yeah so i don't know guys look how sad my dinner looks brett's laughing because he knows how sad it looks two sweet potatoes and some salmon babe where where are the vegetables where are the vegetables we ain't got any he said you were cooking for me he's making himself eggs you know what that indicates to me that he doesn't want his own dinner that he made but that's wasteful we're not gonna waste food and listen sweet potato and salmon it might not look appetizing but she's still food she's still good for me and i'm grateful i'm even having this food in my life you know whilst you make eggs because you don't want to eat your own cooking oh i'm actually not bad this is all right yeah it's nice. it's a little bit no baby they're good Food potatoes is a bit sad, it's okay. But she's good. She's healthy. She's what your body needs, put it that way. You are so shy on camera. Okay guys, so we give me a hand, my love. Did you like your card? Yeah, it's Did you find it cute? Don't fucking knock my teeth out, bro. <laughs> um he liked his card. Look at your arm, it looks massive. Big boy for it. So we've decided to watch a movie together. So I'm gonna come off my phone and be present in the moment. We've decided to put Pulp Fiction. We've never watched it together and I've never watched it. So we're putting it on um, and I'm excited. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's different. So let me know in the comments below, but I will see you shortly. I love you always and forever. Bye. Say bye. <laughs> hey, well, you're a football player. <laughs> bye guys.